Good morning, Central Baptist Church family. This morning in Proverbs chapter 7, we're going to talk about not being a dummy. Um, I remember I've done a lot of dumb things in my life. I think we can all relate, I hope. Maybe I've done more th dumb things than others. Uh, but especially in college, did a lot of dumb things. I remember in particular, one time when we were away at Men's Advance in Stillwater, um, one of uh, my friends who had to stay behind and work in the dorm, he ended up taking apart two... Uh, I think at least two bunk beds and reassembling them on the roof of Brown Dorm at Heartland. And uh, I was a, a RA at the time. And so when we get back from men's advance, we see this, we bust out laughing, think it's hilarious. But then uh, I get a phone call saying, hey, listen, I need you and the other RAs to take the bunks down and put them back as quickly as possible because that doesn't look good. I mean, you can see it right off the main road there. And so we're up on the roof taking apart this prank. And I get this great idea. I'm like, listen, we got all these mattresses up here. Let's pile them up on the ground. It's only a one-story building. Let's jump off onto the mattresses. It'll look funny. We'll record it. It'll be great. Well, I, I can't remember if I went first or not. I probably did because it was my idea. And I totally overshot the mattresses. I take off a jump in the air, real high in the air. Because in my mind, I'm like, I'm, I got to make this look good. This has got to be really epic. It's got to be awesome. So I jump really high in the air. And I totally overshoot the mattresses. And I land squarely on my rear end, and I'm pretty sure I broke my tailbone. I'm not 100% sure. Best part was, I was going on a date with Miss Heather at the time, just a few minutes later. So I remember changing, walking over there as slowly as I could because it hurt, my rear end hurt so bad. Um, and I, I gently ease into the car and have a seat, and Heather's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I tell her what happened, and she just looks at me and says, that's so dumb. And I remembered in that moment, that was when I knew she was the one for me. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, the point was, I did something really dumb there. Um, why would I do something so dumb? Honestly, a lot of times the reason anybody does dumb things is to be noticed, to make friends, to get a laugh. And for me, that's been a big part of it. You know, I always want people to laugh. I want people to think something was memorable, something was enjoyable. And so I'm, I'm willing to rise to the occasion. And it's led me to do some really dumb things. Um, in our passage, a young man has done something really dumb. Much more serious than just jumping off a building and hurting his tailbone. See, my dumb incident, my moment of um, uh, stupidity, for lack of a better word, um, wasn't super serious. You know, it, it hurt to sit down for a couple of weeks, and it was a good healthy reminder not to jump off the roof of buildings. Um, but the consequences of my dumb choice weren't that long-lasting and hurtful. The consequences of this young man's choice were very long-lasting and very hurtful. Um... In, in our passage today in verse 7, Proverbs 7, 7, it says, And I beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths, a young man void of understanding. A young man who, quite frankly, was a dummy. A young man who was around his friends. He was simple. I love you too, son. Thank you. <laughs> a young man who was young, who was simple, who was a dummy. And he is walking around, and basically, if you, you read the chapter, hopefully, by now, he finds a woman on a street corner, he ends up having an affair with her. That's a very dumb thing to do. Why in the world would someone do something like that? But I'm talking to young people and, honestly, adults who still struggle with being simple, who still struggle with being void of understanding. We all do at times, and we're around other people, maybe peer pressure, maybe we just saw something on television, we, we begin thinking in our minds, this is acceptable behavior, this is cool, this is exciting, this is something I want to give, a, I want to try. And we end up doing something really dumb and really stupid and really hurtful that has lifelong implications. And maybe there's someone right now thinking in their boredom, man, I want to try to go a little further physically with my boyfriend or girlfriend. Maybe there's somebody thinking as they're watching this, you know, I, I'm bored. I, I actually, I, I saw several reports that alcohol sales have dramatically increased during this time of self-quarantine and self-isolation. That's not good. And there might be somebody here who's thinking about making that very dumb choice. Maybe somebody who's thinking about trying drugs for the first time. Somebody who's thinking about reverting back into an old bad habit and bad behavior. I just want to challenge you. Don't be a dummy. Instead, look at the first few verses, and that's why Solomon says what he does. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law is the apple of thine eye. And verse 4, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. Basically, like embrace wisdom and don't be a dummy. Why? Because the specific application of this verse is, is explained in, in verse 5. That they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. He's saying, this young man over here, he was simple and void of understanding. He was a dummy. 
He gave into a stupid scenario and stupid opportunity, but you need to listen to wisdom. And where do we get wisdom? God's word, godly counselors. So stay in the Bible during this time. Stay in the Bible all the time. So you don't make dumb choices. Don't be a dummy.